Sitescape and Cloud Compare is a match made in heaven. This video will walk through the four ways Cloud Compare can take your scans to the next level. Automatic scan cleaning, simple scan cropping, reducing the file size for large scans, and how to turn your scan into an X-ray or 3D blueprint. You can jump to any chapter by clicking the timestamp in the description, but the best place to start is automatic scan cleaning. First, open your scan by clicking the folder icon. To make changes to a scan, or when you're ready to save the scan, make sure you have the file with the cloud icon selected. The first step to clean your scan is filtering out floating points by clicking on the button labeled SOR. Set the threshold to 2.5 and click OK. This will create a new file with the filtered version of the scan. You can delete the original file, but note that Cloud Compare does not have an undo button, so you'll need to start over if you mess up. The next step is to select the filtered file and go to Tools, Other, Compute Geometric Features. Check the box next to Roughness and enter 0.04 for local neighborhood radius and click OK. This process can take longer depending on your computer and the size of the scan. This will show the scalar field you've created. In the Properties menu, go to Colors and select RGB to return the scan to normal. Lastly, go to Edit, Scalar Fields, and select Filter by Values. Set the range as 0 to 0 0.01 and select Export. Now you have a new file with your cleaned up scan that you can export by clicking the Save icon. With the cropping tool, you can clean up the boundaries of your scan or remove everything except for a single object. Select the scan you want to crop and click on the scissors icon. Left click to draw a box around the boundary of your scan and right click to complete your selection. Then click on the segment in button to remove everything outside of your selection and click the green check mark. This will create two files, one labeled segmented containing only the points you selected and another labeled remaining, which you can hide by unchecking its box. Simplifying a scan will reduce your file size and can make large scans easier to work with. For most cases, we recommend keeping your scans under 100 megabytes. To simplify a scan, select the file and click on the icon with the red and blue points. To simplify scans with a high point density, leave the method as space and set the minimum space between points to 2 millimeters. If you want to get a very large scan to exactly 100 megabytes, Set the method as random and select the remaining points to 6,650,000. Finally, and this is mostly just for fun, but can make measurements easier and more precise, here's how to create a 3D blueprint or x-ray look for your scan. Select the file and go to Tools, Other, and Compute Geometric Features. Check the box next to Second Eigenvalue and enter 0.08 for Local Neighborhood Radius. Again, this will show the scalar field you've created. In the Properties menu, go to Colors and select RGB to return the scan to normal. Go to Edit Scalar Fields, select Filter by Values, set the range as 0.0004 to 0.0006, and click Export. You now have a file with only the edges in your scan visible. You can save it as is, or you can go to Edit, Colors, Set Unique and pick a bright color like blue or green, then click OK. If the scan you started with was a PLY file, you can now save your X-ray version as a PLY and upload it to app.sitescape.ai to have it in your Sitescape account.